Welcome to part 2 of the SoundGrid 201 certification training video series. In this video, we'll go over clocking in a SoundGrid system. We will discuss the general purpose of clocking in audio systems, how clocking works in SoundGrid system, and talk about the Waves SOE protocol, Sync over Ethernet. If you haven't already, don't forget to watch part 1 of this video series by clicking the card on the top corner, or the link in the description. An audio clock is a time signal that is used to synchronize between digital audio devices. Clocking prevents audio jitters and other unwanted noises and artifacts. In any digital audio network, one device is designated as the clock master, which distributes the clock signal to other devices in the network. The other devices in the network are slaves to that device. SoundGrid distributes the clock signal to devices in the SoundGrid network using conventional word clock connections or digitally through Ethernet connection using SOE, Sync over Ethernet. The SoundGrid network can use one of the following clock sources. Internal, SOE, digital clock, or word clock. This is the clock generated by SoundGrid I.O. devices. All SoundGrid-compatible I.O. devices have solid clocks built in, and each can serve as clock master. Sync over Ethernet is Wave's proprietary protocol for passing a clock signal over Ethernet cables to SoundGrid devices. SOE does not require additional cables to synchronize devices. It uses the same Ethernet cable that connects a device to the SoundGrid network. Here's a typical example. When one SoundGrid-compatible I.O. is set as internal master, then all other I.O.s and devices are automatically set to SOE slaves. Once a device is made internal master, it will start broadcasting clocking frames 10 times per second to the network. All slave IOs, servers, and other sound grid devices will get this frame rate and will start following the master clock. Some third-party devices, like digital mixers, can send master clock data using a digital audio connection. For example, Digica consoles can send clock data using a MARI connection. In that case, when, for example, using a DigiGrid MGB MADI to SoundGrid interface, the MGB's clock source will be set to digital. All other SoundGrid devices in the network will be set to SOE. A dedicated word clock device can be used to generate the master clock signal. This word clock generator will be connected to one of the SoundGrid IOs equipped with the word clock input. The SoundGrid IOs clock source will be set to word clock, while all other SoundGrid devices in the network will be set to SOE. In the next video in this training series, we'll talk about SoundGrid networking and discuss how latency is handled in a SoundGrid system. Click on the card above the link in the description, or go to waves.com slash soundgrid-201 to watch the next video.